Namaste, my name is Billy Simple, and this is the BS Show with Billy Simple. Now, normally, I do this kind of thing over the podcast. Over My friend Simon's got this podcast feed. I post the podcast on there. But I thought, you know, since we're in time of quarantine, we're not seeing each other face-to-face as much as we used to, it might be a good idea to make a video. And then I'll send that to Simon. and let, He does all the technical stuff. I don't know how to do it. Anyway, y'all worried about a lot of things going on with the quarantine. What should I do? How should I act? Where should I put this face mask? Probably on your face is the first step. Anyway, you asked me a lot of questions, and I got a lot of answers. So I'm going to spend some time here answering your questions. I got them right here. Is that how we're going to spend our morning? Absolutely. This question is from Chelsea Beretti. Now, that's a real person's name, but that ain't who wrote this. This is somebody using a real person's name, I think, uh, to get a little laugh. Very funny comedy there. All right. The fake Chelsea Beretti wants to know, how many times a day do you wash your hands? Like every 45 seconds. How long has this video been? I should have washed my hands by now, probably, if that was the case. Very frequently, every time I touch something, anything, what are these cards? Next question, this comes from uh, Joan Alberta. That could be a real name or that could be a fake name. You know, what's one of those in-between names that could be real or could be fake? If your real name is Joan Alberta, why don't you send a picture with your question? Joan Alberta wants to know, how many times a day do you wash your hands? I feel like I just answered that question, Joan, so you just rewind the tape. This next question is from Tom Buttfinder. I don't think that's a real name. Tom Buttfinder wants to know, Am I still going door-to-door squeegeeing people's chakras out? And that's a very good question. I commented the CDC. I commented them on Facebook. They posted a thing. I said, hey, CDC, since I got your attention, is it all right if I go to door, door-to-door to people's houses, climb in the shower with them and squeegee out the chakras to help make their spirit shine brighter than the stars? And the CDC uh, put a cease and desist on all chakra squeegees. I'm not allowed to squeegee out anybody's chakras. This is very important. Because as we all know, if you're not squeegeeing out your chakras every day, you start back at zero, but it takes 30, 40 years from zero. So it doesn't matter. You're 40 years into the program, just about to get your spirit to shine brighter than the stars. Gotta go all the way back to the beginning, buddy. Back in the line. So thanks, CDC for making people's spirits not shine brighter than the stars. That's it for you, Tom. Next question is from Peter the Pumpkin Eater. What are you doing? What are you doing? Peter the Pumpkin Eater, as if that's a real name. Peter the Pumpkin Eater says, Hi. How you doing? That's a good start. Nobody else asked me how I was doing. I'll tell you, Peter the Pumpkin Eater, I'm doing okay. I haven't died yet. I don't got the COVID, you know. Still living in the commune with 15 other guys. <clears throat> it says here, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I didn't even ask about you, Peter the Pumpkin Eater, but that's a good, that's a good add to the note. To this question. All you gotta do really is ask the question, but there's these little extra things, you know, that go a long way with the, with a guy like me. I don't get a lot of human interaction in my little bunker here. Did I say bunker? I'm in commune. Uh, just, just forget that I said bunker, okay? Uh, Peter the Pumpkin Eater wants to know, how do you keep your hair looking so nice? I'm not gonna answer that. That's uh, trade secrets. There was no other question. There was no question related to the spirit making your spirit shine brighter than the stars or surviving a quarantine and making your spirit shine brighter than the stars. Oh my jeez. Now this, this, this 
question I think is a real question from a real fan. It says here. First of all, the question is from Rachel Underpants. Guys, you gotta get better with the fake names. If you're gonna make a fake name, make it something like, uh, like, uh, Mike Smith. That's a fake name, right? I actually know a guy named Mike Smith. It's not important. Uh, Rachel Underpants wants to know, uh, there's a lot of people thinking unloving thoughts right now. Do they got to start back from zero to make the spirit shine brighter than the star? That's a very good question, Rachel Underpants. The answer is yes, they got to start back at zero. There's no shortcuts on making your spirit shine brighter than the stars. It's a process. You got to keep doing it. And you, if you stop, if you have a little cheat day, there's no such thing as cheat days, right? If you have a cheat day, you got to start all the way back in the beginning. Like I said earlier, back at a line. This, this question is from Heather Fields. Now that's a good fake name right there. Heather Fields, that could be somebody's real name. Or you could be just talking about Fields of Heather. The plant. I don't know, Heather Fields. Are you a real person or are you not a real person? We're going to launch a full-scale investigation. Okay, here's the question. Dear Mr. Belly, how are you doing today? Oh, today. You don't care about the rest of my life. I see how it is, Heather Fields. Today, I'm annoyed at your question. Uh, that wasn't the only question, though, so I might not be annoyed later on. Uh, let's see here. It says, uh, how are you... Uh, maintaining your spirit shining brighter than the stars during the quarantine when you can't see other people. Let me tell you something, Heather Fields. Not seeing other people is the number one reason my spirit is shining brighter than ever. I don't like people very much. That's not why I'm in this business. It's not even really a business. I'm just going around squeezing out people's chakras and giving them advice on making their spirit shine brighter than the stars. So no, seeing other people is just, it's more work for me. It's more people I gotta squeegee out the chakras, I gotta get into the, the life, hear the whole life story, that's not even part of the system. They just wanna tell me like it's some kind of cult. It's not a cult, okay? So they just tell me their life story is very annoying. I don't have to do any of that right now because of uh, the quarantine. So the quarantine is making my spirit shine brighter than ever. And I'm not thinking any unloving thoughts over here. Mostly because I'm very thinking very few thoughts to begin with. There's a lot of Netflix binging. You could have sure to just turn your brain off is what happens. All right, now let's see. I've got time for just one more question. And this question comes from Harvey Mean. Harvey Mean. Mean. M-E-A-N. Like uh, somebody who's uh, not very nice. Harvey Mean. Is that, what do you think? List, list, listen, just send me an email to my friend Simon's email. And tell him whether or not you think Harvey Mean is a real name. Because I'm confused about that. We're going to have to launch another full-scale investigation on Harvey Mean. Harvey Mean says, I hope this question finds you well. It does, Harvey Mean. Thank you for saying such nice things. I want to know, is there going to be a vaccine with a chip in it to track my movements? Who cares? Where are you going? What, what does it matter to you? You on, you on the Facebook going, ah, I'm over here with the Tigers baseball game because you go to Detroit all the time. Yeah, they already know where you are. Why do they need to put a chip in your vaccine, you dummy? Also, there ain't even a vaccine yet. Okay, well, that's all the questions and all the time that I got to answer them. So, if you got any more questions, just send me an email. You know, to my friend Simon's email, and also as well as on Zoho.com, and ask me your questions about how to make your spirit shine brighter than the stars. That's all the time I got, and that's all the time I need. So for now, I'll just say, Namaste.